New to AI or just curious how it all works? No worries, I keep things friendly and easy to follow. Every video breaks down powerful ideas and useful tools in a way anyone can understand. Okay, tell me if this sounds familiar. You sit down to start a literature review. One tab opens Google Scholar. Another tab opens PubMed, then Scopus, then 20 PDFs. Next thing you know, you've accidentally created a whole ecosystem of chaos and still don't feel any closer to understanding your topic. If you're a student, researcher, or literally anyone trying to survive academia, you know exactly what I'm talking about. This month, SciSpace rolled out some major updates that basically turned it into a supercharged research workspace. And honestly, it's wild how much time it saves. Let me show you. So first, and this one is honestly a game changer, SciSpace now gives you a single unified table of papers pulled from multiple databases at once, meaning SciSpace, Google Scholar, PubMed, and more in the pipeline all show up together in one clean list. No more flipping through tabs like it's 2010. No more copy-pasting titles between websites. No more missing important papers because they were buried in the wrong database. The agent actually merges, re-ranks, and scores papers for you with a relevance tag and an explanation of why each paper matches your query. So instead of digging through hundreds of results, you instantly get the most relevant handful. It seriously cuts the I'm overwhelmed feeling by like 80%. This is the feature I wish I had as a student. We all know this pain. You finally find the perfect paper, but it's paywalled. Well, SciSpace partnered with LibKey, so now you can access paywalled papers directly through your institution's library access without leaving SciSpace, without hunting down PDFs, without giving up and reading a sketchy version someone uploaded in 2009. Just click, authenticate, and done. Every paper now has a LibKey button, and honestly, it feels like cheating, the legal kind. Okay, this one feels subtle, but it's huge for productivity. Previously, when the agent was running a task like a literature review, you had to wait. You couldn't adjust columns or analyze papers until it finished. Now, you can add or remove columns, filter results, analyze papers, pause or resume the task, all while the agent continues running in the background. It's like being able to rearrange your desk while your assistant keeps doing the research. Also, if you're someone who likes custom insights, the table lets you create your own columns, so you can pull anything like methodology, limitations, data sets used, problem statement, and see that insight for every paper in the list. Total time saver. This is the one a lot of you have been waiting for. You can now connect your Google Drive directly to SciSpace. This means that the agent can analyze your drive files, like I can ask it to find any gaps and improve the whole PDF, and it will do it instantly. And with the V2 release, they're adding OneDrive, Zotero, Mendeley, and more. Imagine running a research agent that can search your drive and your PDFs all at once. We are entering a new era of my AI assistant actually knows where my stuff is. Citing inside SciSpace just got way smoother. You can now cite directly from the paper table. No more hopping between apps. For uploaded PDFs, SciSpace shows the exact snippet the model used and jumps you to its location in the PDF. No more scrolling like, where did this quote even come from? You just click, then boom, you get the exact highlight. This is especially helpful when you're writing a manuscript or verifying sources. Let me show you a quick example so this doesn't stay abstract. Let's say I'm doing a literature review on how machine learning improves early cancer detection. I type it into SciSpace Agent, and immediately I get a combined table of top papers, relevance tags plus explanations, citations I can copy, columns showing insights like methods, results, limitations, and also PDFs I can access through LibKey. And while the agent keeps processing the full review, I can browse, filter, and tweak my insights. It honestly feels like working with a real research assistant, one that doesn't get tired, doesn't need coffee, and doesn't pretend to understand your topic when they actually don't. So yeah, these updates aren't just nice to have, they genuinely make research faster, simpler, and a lot less overwhelming. My favorite parts? I would say the combined paper table, libkey access, background processing while you customize insights, Google Drive integration, and the smarter citation previews, all of these together make SciSpace feel more like a true research command center. 
If you want to try the new features yourself, use the link and my coupon code in the description, especially now during the Black Friday sale. If you found this useful, make sure to like the video, subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you in the next one.